Hey everybody, and welcome back to Boat Fool. So look, it is April, it's 65 out, it's sunny, I've shaved my beard, I'm feeling optimistic, sailing season's right around the corner up here in Maine. And so this week we're doing the top 10 sailboats currently for sale in Maine, listed for less than $50,000. And there's some real stunners on this list. Boats that are ready to go coastal cruising, pocket cruising, or take you around the world. And there's some rare finds on this list. So if you're in the market for a little more expensive boat, get out your wallets, come check these out. I think you're gonna like them. All right, here we go. Gonna do this quickly. So I uh, just wanna point out that this Camper Nicholson's 35 foot sloop that we profiled in our uh, top 10 under 30 is now pending, obviously because of our video, but it's cool to see. And I'm glad that it's uh, some lucky owner's gonna get her and start selling her hopefully this summer. Okay, moving on. Number 10 this week is a 1983 Bristol 38.8 located in Portland, Maine, offered by Gray and Gray Yachts, list price of 45,000. Now, look, the reason why this one is number 10 and not higher on my list is because uh, she looks like she needs some elbow grease. However, uh, owner notes that this boat has uh, done a few transatlantics, has sailed from Maine to the Caribbean a few times, and is outfitted for uh, world cruising. So uh, you can go anywhere in this boat. It's got a stove. It's got all the amenities, radar, so forth. It just needs some elbow grease. It does have a centerboard, though the cables were replaced in 2017. You got a windlass here. Um, and the boat is just uh, in need of some love and affection. And I'm just trying to get through some of the pictures quickly here to show you the down below, um, which uh, could use some uh, also some attention. But uh, all in all, it's a Bristol. She's not in Bristol condition, excuse the pun, but uh, she could be. Oh, and it's got a uh, it's got a wind vane on here. So um, for self steering. So uh, that's pretty slick, too. There aren't any interior pictures, really. So it's hard to get a sense of what this boat is like down below and what kind of love she's going to need. But uh, the point is, um, this boat has proven herself to basically go anywhere. And uh, I think she would. And with a little love and affection, uh, you would get a, a wonderful boat that you could bring back to uh, Bristol condition. Okay, coming in at number nine. Um, so there are actually two of these for sale right now. There's a 26 footer that just came up on uh, Facebook Marketplace, which is list price at 25,000. However, it is a 26 footer. Um, so if you're looking for a, a little lower price point and a little smaller boat, there is another island packet that looks in good condition on Facebook Marketplace. I'll put it in the uh, description below. Uh, but this is a 1986 Island Packet 27, list price of 32.9. So it's a foot, a foot longer. Uh, you've got the Lazy Jacks, you've got the Self Tailing, you got the Dodger, you got an awning. Um, you got some color coordination with all the green. The engine hours are noted to be 4,700 hours, but it's maintained by Down East Diesel in Southwest Harbor. So uh, that diesel, if it's been well maintained, is probably at its half life. So you've got you've got time to go on that. Uh, if you're looking for a great pocket coastal cruiser uh, and not something that's overly large, this boat could be for you. It looks turnkey. It looks mint. Uh, it looks like it's ready to go. And uh, these island packets obviously are solid and much bigger down below than they appear by their um, waterline and above waterline lengths of 27 feet. She's, I think, got a beam of close to uh, close to 11. So it's going to be a very, very comfortable boat and a great uh, modest sized boat to do some coastal cruising. All right. So that's number nine. Coming in at number eight. Eight this week is a 1982 Young Sung Cutter built in Taiwan, 35 feet long, list price of 44.5, uh, located in Rockland, Maine, offered by Gray and Gray Yacht, so it's broker uh, represented. Uh, these boats are world cruisers. These are solid. I love the double ender, full keel. I'm not crazy about the cushions, uh, but. Uh, some people might like them, uh, but you could brighten up the down below with some with a brighter color. Uh, but it looks like it's in really good condition and looks like she's ready to take you anywhere. Uh, I did note some um, water stains under the uh, ports, but uh, that's not uncommon. Um, they probably weren't dogged correctly or maybe uh, left open in a storm. Uh, even though the electronics look old, it is noted that... Um, You've got new Garmin electronics, new mainsail covers, some new batteries, new steering, new shaft and prop, new exhaust elbow, and much more. Uh, it's a Bob Perry design. It's a strongly built uh, young sun cutter built in Taiwan. These are solid boats and would take you anywhere. And um, I love it. 
and uh, you know this thing is ready to go. So uh, barring a survey disaster, engine looks nice, uh, you could be on the water this summer and starting your uh, coastal cruising or world travels. I wish it was covered up and not in the snow, but uh, say la vie. Okay, uh, coming in at number uh, seven is a 1974 Islander Yacht Craft 37-footer, uh, list price of 47000 offered by East Coast Yacht Sales in Camden, Maine. Now, look, this thing's been on the market for a while, and uh, I, I can't put my finger on it as to why. The only thing that um, raises an eyebrow is that this was sold as a kit, and uh, the hull was sold as a kit, and the original owner uh, uh, finished the work. But however, he was apparently a shipyard owner, and made significant improvements on the construction and did an exceptional job fitting the boat out. Um, so the current owners have owned her since 2020, and I'm not sure why they're getting rid of her, but uh, they uh, just a couple of years ago uh, put a brand new mainsail in Genoa on there, all by Bondel Sales, whom, uh, who did our sales, and they're fantastic. Uh, the bottom strip uh, was stripped and repainted. Uh, you've got handrails were stripped and revarnished, new Japsco toilet is 2021, and cabin sole was stripped and revarnished in 2021, plus some new electronics. Uh, so this boat is really uh, quite attractive in my opinion. Um, you've got a spinnaker. I love the lines on her, and she's just a pretty boat. And um, there is a video that we're not going to watch, but I wanted to get to some down below images of her. Um, Nice big cockpit. You got a, you know, um, your uh, traveler systems in the cockpit, which I have, which seems like it's a big deal, but it's actually not. It's actually very convenient to have it there if you're single handing this thing. Um, looks like the deck was repainted and the non skid is on there. Uh, here we go. We're getting there. Sorry, sorry. I'm trying to go as fast as possible. Uh, you got a windlass. Um, and I love the color combination of the beige and the dark blue. The down below just looks awesome. You've got a stove down here. Um, and I love the white uh, cabin top uh, ceiling and the nice uh, wood accents everywhere. Uh, is that refrigerator? I think you have refrigeration too maybe on this. Yes, you got refrigeration. I, I mean, this boat is beautiful, honestly. Um, the cushions all look serviceable. You got the wood stove and, uh, you know, the uh, head looks beautiful and some people don't like the dark wood. I love it. And uh, the V-Birth looks nice and serviceable. So uh, a lot to love about this boat. I think the only thing holding it back is that it was a kit boat. Um, but I think a survey would highlight any issues, but I think uh, you could go look at this with confidence that you're going to get in a nice solid boat. Okay. Coming in at number six is a 1993 Pacific Seacraft Ericsson 38, list price of $49.9, located in Rockland, Maine, also offered by East Coast Yacht Sales in Camden. This just had a price drop a few weeks ago of $8,600. Uh, so uh, this has had a significant price drop. Now, Pacific, Pacific Seacraft bought Ericsson in 1990. Uh, that's why it's got the Pacific Seacraft name on there. But it is the Ericsson mold. And uh, if you know anything about Ericsson's, uh, they're fast boats. And this one looks uh, lickety split fast. You've got a wing keel um, and nice big cockpit. There's no Dodger. And it would have to be pretty big because of the recessed companionway there. But um, it has new top size paint, which I'm not crazy about the color, uh, but some people might like it and the pictures might not be doing it justice. But um, this boat is going to be a great cruiser, great racer. And when we get to the down below pictures, you'll see that it's nice and bright. Um, the cushions look serviceable and you've got a nice, uh, the engine looks fine, good access to the engine. You've got a nice walk and shower here and... Um, you know, the countertops look great. Everything looks clean. And that's all you can ask for. So uh, if you want a fast boat that you can also cruise and uh, has had a lot of maintenance done to it over the years, I would check this boat out. It looks great. Uh, snappy looking boat. And I'm telling you, this boat is fast. Uh, so cracking the top five this week is a 1978 Palmer Johnson New York 40 Sloop, list price of $49.5 in Winterport, Maine, offered also by Grand Gray Yachts. Now, um, this boat has been on the market for a while, and 
I, I don't know why, and I think there's been a price drop, but I just don't remember what it was. So I think it's been on the market on and off for like a year. But this is a one design uh, commissioned by the New York Yacht Club in, I think, 1977. 20 or 21 of these were built. This is hull number one. Uh, it is a Doug Peterson design, and it is uh, built by Palmer Johnson down in New Orleans. And this thing is going to be fast. It's going to be a head turner, though I don't get the sliding cabinet doors here. Um, I'm not, it's like a New York thing, maybe, but uh, I don't know. But this is a pretty boat. The sole floor looks like it's got um, like a faux um, uh, teak floor on there, teak and olive floor, but our teak floor. Uh, but the cushions are beautiful. Uh, they look new. They look updated. Um, and <coughs> excuse me, uh, electronics look decent. But uh, this boat has got pedigree. It's going to be fast. Uh, it's still a one design fleet if you want to, or you can perforate this thing. And um, it's got a Bimini Dodger, which is a little bit small. Engine's been repainted, but a very pretty boat, fast, big. If you want something like this, this would be a t this would be worth taking a close look at. Find out why it's been on the market so long. Get uh, a survey done and uh, go go rip it up on this thing, all right? Uh, this is a cool looking boat and uh, it's got a storied past with the New York Yacht Club. It's hull number one in the one design 40 foot um, uh, range and uh, you know you could still have a blast on this boat. All right, coming at number four. Uh, and I think uh, this really should be number three, but for the sake of argument, we're gonna go number four this week. It's a, it's a Morris Francis, um, uh, Chuck Payne designed Victoria Francis, and this boat is a little beauty. And I think if it was a little bit bigger, it'd be much higher on on my list. But uh, for this price tag, and by the way, its list price is forty six thousand. It's a nineteen eighty six Victoria Francis, twenty six feet long, three hundred hours on the engine. Condition is good. The sellers are selling it because they bought a Bristol uh, for a bigger boat, Bristol thirty five for a bigger boat. And exactly my point. If this boat were a little bigger, it'd be probably number one on my list because Chuck Payne was a prolific designer. These are beautiful boats, and the craftsmanship is bar none. Um, you can see the condition down below uh, looks pretty stellar. Looks like it's got an electronic flush toilet. <laughs> I just love this. I love the striped cushions. I love the wood ceiling. Uh, I, I, I just, I can't say enough about this. It's just a little bit too small. And that's just me. Uh, but if you're looking for a good coastal cruiser, uh, you've got the Solar, you've got the Dodger. Uh, this boat is for you. If you like a tiller, uh, this boat is also for you. Um, and it's, 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 she's just beautiful. And again, it's a uh, Chuck Payne design. He was prolific. He was a master. Uh, and, and this is one of his uh, more adorable boats. And she is number four this week. Okay. Coming in at number three is another Sabre. This is a 1986 Sabre 34 Mark II. List price of $49,995. And it's located in Harborside, Maine. Uh, uh, offered by Matinic Yacht Brokers. Uh, this boat is uh, is is nearly perfect condition it's got radar you've got the nice teak accents uh, you've got auto helm updated electronics it looks like you've got the life sling you've got a ladder you've got the lazy jacks not a lot of pictures not crazy about this cushion situation uh, in terms of the color schematics but she's a saber and they're not matching in the v-birth uh, she's a saber she's uh, main built solid beautiful boat i love the dark blue um, and the red bottom paint, and you've got the roller furling, radar, lazy jacks, dodger, all the all the accoutrements that you want, and uh, in a handsome saber package. She's number three this week. Number two is a 1984 Morgan 384, list price of 45,000, located in Rockland, Maine, offered by East Coast Yacht Sales. Yes, it's a Morgan. I have a Morgan. This is the third generation of the Morgan 38. Uh, she's the 384, which means that the mast is a little taller. The traveler has been moved to the cabin top and the rudder is a little bit bigger. Those are really the only differences between it and the Morgan 382, which we have. This one has been uh, modified to have sort of a cutter rig here with the dual head sails. It's got a roller furling main. You've got the uh, wind generator back here. You've got radar. You've got a hard top bimini. Uh, this boat is ready to go. We're not going to play the videos, but... Uh, it's clearly been in tropical waters. It is, um, it's just a great solid boat. And I can vouch for the fact that this is a Morgan. This boat's going to take you anywhere. They're very sea kindly. And the down below is nice and bright and cheery. 
um, which makes me want to redo my cushions down below on mine. You got the white cushions, really brightens it up. They have uh, modified some um, additional hatches here for light. And this boat has all the bells and whistles ready for world cruising. It's got refrigeration. Uh, it's got everything you need. You've got a separate shower stall like mine. Uh, you've got updated electronics, uh, updated uh, switchboard here. You've got propane tank update here. It's all ready to go. It looks like a newer engine. Um, I'm not going to get into the details because we're running out of time. But check this boat out. It's been on the market for a while and the price has not dropped. I don't know why, but I would. I don't know what's going on here and here, but it could just be the photo or just mildew. But go check this boat out. I love Morgan's. I didn't know anything about them before we bought ours and I love it and I love this boat. This thing's ready to go around the world. Okay, number one this week. Number one is a... La, 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 1983 Tayana 37 Cutter. Now, list price of $47,000. It's just come on the market five days ago, which will be about 12 days by the time you see this. Now, it is noted that they had a survey done in the spring of 2022. There were two issues with it, which were uh, core issues in the side decks and the rudder uh, need to be recorded. However, uh, he's willing to do that work this spring and have it uh, done uh, for the summer at a list price of fifty-five thousand, or you can buy it as is at forty-seven thousand. These boats don't come on the market a lot, especially at this price point. It's a cutter rig. You got uh, roller reefing in the main, in the mast. Uh, you've got a uh, Dodger. You got a bimini rack here. You got a uh, dinghy davits, and you've got a wood stove. And um, this boat is uh, slick. And these Tayanas are solid and can take you around the world. Not a lot of uh, photos that we can really look at, but the interior looks mint and it is a beautiful boat. I love it. If you if you want him to do the work, 55,000, you want to buy it as is, 47,000. These boats go for way more than that. And uh, it is uh, currently hauled down in Yarmouth under shrink wrap and uh, it's a DIY, it's a DIY boatyard, so you can do the work yourself or have him do it. But honestly, uh, this is number one this week. This just came on the market. This is a hot, hot boat. If you want to do some uh, blue water cruising or Colsa cruising, this is the boat for you. And this is a smoking price. Yes, it's got issues. Yes, then can be addressed, and he's willing to do it. That's our number one boat this week. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week.